and good day. Today we're having a little look at that. In fact, I was so impressed with this, I got two of them. And you're probably looking at them for those people who haven't got a clue what they are. These are for tying fish hooks. And uh, ever since I hurt my hand, I'm having a bit of issue with it. And uh, the way these operate, you slide your hook into this area here, tighten down with the little thumb screw. You have these popped up, wrap your um, line around that, and uh, then you pull it tight. You, oh, I've got to twist it a few times, of course, and you pull it tight. I'll do a demonstration on it shortly. Uh, it's just arrived, this thing, so I thought we'd have a quick look at them. And uh, down the back here, you've got a couple of little spikes. Again, handy for uh, tying a few little knots. Or if you prefer, I suppose, you know, stick it in the hors d'oeuvres. You can have a bite to eat with them, but I wouldn't like sticking that in my mouth, that's for certain. So uh, the second unit is for a certain partner of mine who drives me nuts, asking me always to tie hooks, because she can't. Well, guess what? Now she can. <laughs> At least I hope so, anyway. Um, we'll get on to the uh, demo with a minute, uh, with the hooks and a bit of line on it. OK, on to the practical demonstration. Now, you can see we've got uh, some jaws here. We have a thumb screw. The thumb screw closes the jaws up, pinches onto the actual fishing hook that uh, we're going to put in here. You have two little projections that can be obviously pushed through. Now, initially, first up, we grab the hook and position it in the jaws. Um, swing it around, pop it up so that it's uh, protruding through and we'll just tighten up the thumb screw a little bit here oops where are we getting it up come on top oh helps if i turn it the right way doesn't it my goodness i am getting old okay so there we go we've got the hook positioned nicely in the little fish tying device next thing of course we've got to do is pick up some fishing line which i just happen to have laying around here and it's a little bit long so here we go we push that mechanism through run the line itself so that it goes around it position the line along the shaft and then just simply twist and as we're turning it we obviously come further and further down the shaft um, you can do it you know seven eight times nine times ten times whatever you feel like doing I'm only just doing this as a bit of a demo for you once you've uh, got down as far as you want to go you then bring the line up the one you've got in your hand and run it underneath this hook here push the hook down so that it actually locks in position it now releases the other bit of line you give this a bit of a tug and it pulls that line over the top of this mechanism down onto the shaft so just give that a bit of a tug again and uh, we can now release the actual hook itself from the jaws and uh, in doing so we pull through and we give this a bit of a tug and there you go now obviously you've got to trim off the uh, excess line give it a good good tug there and I've just got a pair of scissors laying around uh, normally if I'm outside I'd have uh, maybe uh, maybe just a little thing called nail clippers or whatever I'll just trim this off a little bit here again god it's awkward when you're behind a camera you guys don't realize it till you try it oh come on I can't even ah I give up <laughs> I give up Oh gosh, got a fishing line hanging off to one side. I've got rods and reels and God knows all over the joint. There we go, I've trimmed it. Okay, put that back. Give it a good tug. And as you can see, put it down on the shaft there nicely. And we've got ourselves a nice little um, tie. It's not going to pull through. And uh, interestingly enough, you can slide it. And it just drops back. It does not let go. And you've got yourself a nice little... Um, little knot and uh, with a bit of luck you can catch a few fish with it and my hands are getting a bit ancient so I have uh, obviously trouble tying um, 
and that's uh, the main reason I got the device in the first place. You know, for the cost of what this thing is, it actually works quite well. Um, yeah, pretty pretty impressed with it actually. It does a nice job. It's just a matter of whether the other half that I got one for, whether she can actually use it as well, or whether I'm still stuck tying knots. Anyway, for what it's worth, thanks for watching.